good afternoon. It's, uh, to be honest, it's a bus. Um, you feel it in the building. I was there yesterday because there was something for the commercial there to do. And you get a special feeling coming back there. Um, so I think it will be, you know, I know it's, it's the same with all the players. I feel it already this week in the training. It gives something extra and I think it will be with all the fans also. It's like coming home after a really long time. It felt like uh, we haven't been there for 10 years or something. It's not that long, but uh, we have that feeling. So we're really happy that we can be back there. Of course, it always helps the enthusiasm of fans, and and in that way, Hamden was was more difficult, and we know we know why. So it always helps, uh, and it's not only here; it's it's with a lot of clubs in the world. It's the same uh, playing before your fans, and for sure at Ibrox with uh, so many people and so passionate people. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a big help always to play there and, and to have that support. It's different. The competition that you had success in last season as well, how, how keen, I guess, are you to try and maintain Yeah, you know me already now, uh, so I want to win everything. That's the goal of everything I do in life. I want to see that with my team also. So it's, it's another competition where you go full to, to have the victory. The, some of them had the feeling already last season. We have a lot of new faces in the building, but they all know already that for me uh, every game is with the same importance and, and we want to win everything. So that's what, uh, where we put the bar for ourselves. So it's, it's the next challenge. It's, it's quite a negative question because if you talk like that, it's like everybody's running around here uh, like zombies and with the head down and it's not the case. You saw also the game last week, um, moments in games in, in the weeks before. Uh, you see we're rebuilding a squad, new players coming in. Um, there are a lot of positives here. I don't like to speak about individual players too much, so I will not go into that. but. You start to see the first fruits of the seeds that are planted and it's just the first start. We're just starting with that. So I want to seek confirmation of that and, and becoming stronger and stronger week by week, month by month. That's the thing. But of course, if it's in Ibrox with all the support behind, it lifts players in that moment. And I think it will be for the fans also totally different. They will be back with uh, the people they are used of being with in the stands, next to them, behind them, in front of them, to have the talks again like they had before, to have the memories of before. Yeah, it's like coming home with your family. So that will be the feeling. Of course, the most important thing stays what you do on the pitch. So, so that stays the most important, what the players show from the first second of the game, in that game. And we know it's a tough game always against the team of Tony who play good physical football, they adapt to the opponent and they're strong in the transitions. With Murray, they, they, they bought a really good player in that style of play also. He showed that in Ross County last season. So <laughs> it's really important to come back to Ibrox and to have a good atmosphere, yes, but the most important stays what we show on the pitch then. So that we cannot forget uh, in that way. I don't think you can put that in words. It's a feeling that you need to experience. Of course, I talked about that um, before they came in that way, in the positive moments, but also in the moments when it's difficult. Ibrox can also be difficult if you're not performing, so they need to be ready for that also and to perform well. So it needs to be uh, extra motivation in that way. Of 
for myself um, that I always enjoy seeing people happy. Uh, my players, my staff, the fans, and, and we had a great night. Uh, that moment, uh, because it was really a long time ago that uh, the club won this trophy also, so it was a really big thing. And it gives only hunger for more. So, uh, yeah, I I'm always hungry and I will stay always hungry. I had the luck to, to win a lot of trophies uh, in that way as a player and as a, as a manager, but the hunger never stops. And that I want to see from the players also. Uh, people who come here, and you see it also if you come in this room, it's about winning trophies. So that's what they know also. And that's also why a lot of players want to come here. It's not only because of the money, for sure not. Maybe in this, these days less than it was in the past. So, uh, yeah, it's about that. And you want that as a player. That's what you're dreaming of. And at the end of a career, when you stop playing football, those are also the good memories. Those are also the things that you remember, the moments you won things, you won trophies, you won big games. Those are the things that will stay in your mind forever. And also the, this relationship with, with the people you win something with. Um, the same as, as last week. So uh, Ritvan, Dani will, uh, will stay out. Um, and Rabi also. So Ritvan and Dani are individually on the pitch, training, not with the team. Rabi not yet. And, uh, and the rest of the team will be will be available for selection. Given the start of the season, there has been a lot of noise and pressure from the support. Do you does that have any bearing on what you do and how you choose to do things? Because it has been so vocal since the start of the season. Does that have any effect on you or will you remain focused on what you do? No, because I I know that's football that society also, and I know what's going on inside the building. I see everything every day. We're working hard with everybody also every day to improve things. I believe a lot in the potential of this squad. I know it was incredibly challenging to get a squad like that together with the budget that we have and seven players going out without one pound coming into the club. I think a lot of good things has happened. We could not do everything in one transfer window. It was not possible. We didn't have the resources for that. So we need to build. But I'm also happy now that people start to see already the good things that have been done. And I've heard also from many people. You've seen also the reaction after when Hamza came in last weekend. and. Uh, now are already really big comparisons with other players from the past, so we need to bring him in a good way. That's also my job to do, not to go in uh, how to say, not to go in the hype of things, but also not to go in the low of things and to to be objective and to keep balance in things and to see what is not good enough. We need to work on what what is good to keep it. So that's my job to do to be stable in that way. And I know my role is important in that way, for sure. In a, in a club where you make a rebuild, that's strong, where you have to cut wages, that's that, that hard, where you have to replace so many players, where you need to bring in so many players. It's important to have an environment where you can work and not to be busy with all the noise. And in that way, I, I'm positive about what the team done until now because they could have been stuck in the noise and they're not doing that. They're working hard to become better and they know they, they still need to work hard to get to the level where we want to get with them. How much will you be looking forward to next week's game, the European game, when you pick team at the weekend? Uh, not, because it's, it's five days apart. So if it's only two days in between, it's something else. If it's like uh, two, three weeks in a row every three days, you need to look more in that. Um, no, not really. No, you you cannot put priorities here. You cannot throw away uh, any competition. 
because Europe stays also important for this club. It's the image of the club also. If we only invest in our domestic games and we, we just throw away the European games, it will not be good for Rangers uh, for the reputation outside. It will not be good for Scottish football also for the reputation outside if you throw away results. And also for the value of players, it's also important that they, if they perform really well in Europe, their value uh, increases also. So all the competitions are important. You cannot put uh, yeah, differences in that. Okay, moving on to part two, embargo till seven o'clock.